But here we are. We're in the car. <laughs> We're doing a little listening sesh to some of the demos that we have. This is a demo I made when I was in like high school, like in like wow. literally like freshman year. Okay. Um good. <laughs> Wow, this is great. <laughs> Got access to a whole Sorry, thing. this is some Steven Sondheim. It should be like a bajillion times faster than this. But that riff being the main thing, like Down, baby, 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 it's not all about you. Okay. This is the demo that we just wrote. <laughs> Turnaround four choices, wild. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like with Casualty, we really gave like a very modern spin on the Lawrence sound. That was yeah. very 2019. And I think we want to do something that feels very retro, but like in a modern way. A really clean Motown key change. <laughs> but I love that you guys have established that like that can be done with you guys. Like, two, like a key change or this, or yeah. everyone's like, they like that's like the meat and potatoes that people love. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that I think that it'll be. Yeah, I think that like. <laughs> that lot, you're gonna crush that live. We'll see. <laughs> I hope. So. I hope so. <laughs> As we approach the studio, you can see the glorious van, otherwise known as Vandy Newman. At Vandy Newman on Instagram. Good <laughs> plug. <laughs> Where are you going, Gracie Lawrence? Just back into the stew. <laughs> See you later. We're just gonna be like making some. I can't do that. Basically, the idea of the song is just like I was sitting across from someone while I was getting a meal with them, and they were just like talking about themselves the whole time, and I just like couldn't hang. Like I was just like, this is too much. <laughs> so couldn't hang. That's it's like about the, the iconic. Friend. You have an annoying friend song. Which yeah. everyone has. The everyone has. Like, so, I kind of feel yeah. like maybe it was about me. Like, a little self talk <laughs> Okay, so anyway. Um... I feel like you guys will be able to write songs forever just because you have such a gift of like taking the most nuanced situation in life and being like, wow, that's a thing in life. I want to write a whole song about it. Yeah. Be like, <laughs> I'm like, so I'll, I'll be like, where is music going in 3,000 years? And this is the deepest self-reflective and you guys are like, sweatpants, pad tie, let's fucking rock out. Yeah. <laughs> There's still a way that's, that feels homey about it, yeah. that it's not just a song about a random thing. You're like, somehow you take these tiny little moments, these, these pieces, these episodes, like, like that's why you guys are constantly Right, I think everything. that we think about music as if it's like, our music as if it's like a sitcom. Like, so, like our biggest influences are like, the Beatles, Stevie Wonder, John Billion, Seinfeld. It's just, I love it. I'm all about it. It, it makes me so happy. This sort of tone could be cool. It was like, we started talking back when I was 21, um, but I'll be 22 year, before your story's done. I think that it should be really clear from the top. Like, what are yeah. we trying to say? Like, what are we... It needs to be not gimmicky. It's always walking the line between, like, gimmicky and and, like fun but yeah. I think we need something right off the top that's like what is this story what are the stereotypical things that people talk like about that are annoying? yeah let's just go from there with these lyrics it has a bit of a like I don't know much about history right. which I like but this is a good set of things that are such classic things that people talk about when they're just endlessly talking about themselves in the end in the end I have a pretty clear, pretty clear idea of how it should kind of, I, I love the sassiness Motown of it. Yeah. I mean, we've said Motown so many times that maybe the drums are kind of reflective of that. It, would, it wouldn't sound like a kit kit, but it still needs to have like a, a live room. That's going to be crazy. Jordan! Yeah. Real quick, one more, one more thing. I'd rather I'd rather totally. play the as That's a like drum kit. My, yeah, I don't totally. think this is a slid. No, it makes it more human. Exactly, and more. I don't want it to be too over. This this can't be too overproduced, but it still needs to be dialed in. Totally. So maybe the sound choice is, is labeled. I'll just set everything MIDI wise and just play everything at the same time. Kind of joke. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs>
Ray C, we're listening to the drums if you want to check them out. Uh. That fill that you guys had, yeah. the, big, the bigger yeah. fill. Fine. Like that, that snare is not so Motown sample wise, yeah. but it just it drives home everything that you guys do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sick. So I guess, nice. you guys, and then I guess around that, just fill in however yep. you guys we'll, want to fill we'll in. Layer it up. Five. The thing about this song is that usually these days when you make music, you can just loop things or like copy and paste things all over the song. But this song has two key changes in it, which makes it really yeah. annoying. So uh, we need to actually know how to play our instruments. I've gotten away with changing the key in the It's computer. true. You a could actually bit. just transpose most of it. We <laughs> never do. Here in Lawrence, Shh, we play our instruments. <laughs> Alright, Jordan, start it from the top. One piano is not enough. You gotta add a little MIDI piano with the real piano. It's all about layers. That's gonna give it the like. Some more bite. Bite. Oh, let me get that lower. This is some dope interplay between the MIDI and real piano. playing that with one piano. <laughs> Alright, should we do bass now? Give it a little more of like a palm muted, it's like a oh, little yeah. break. Give it like a, yeah, exactly. Yeah, let me go from the, let me, let me take it from there again. Like that? Yeah. So we just decided to play, to make the bass super like palm muted. It makes it sound super old school. And what they used to do is put a lot of felt under the strings to mute it. And we don't have any felt, so sometimes when we want to do that. We go to our trusty bag of packing peanuts and we stuff those in the bass. We didn't do it for this song, but. Out of pure laziness. <laughs> we had, uh, yeah, we're too lazy, yeah. not just to get felt, but to literally take the right. backing peanuts out of the corner. Right. Of the Johnny, you want to play some guitar? Yeah, sure. Oh. Mm, that's aggressive. That'll take it in a direction. That's like it should have on like it. a synth bass on it. Wow, that's cool. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a dope ass sound. I like to um, drink coffee with milk and um. A vanilla latte, and um, apparently it's not good to have dairy before you sing, but um, I think it helps to feel like a rebel when you sing. Baby, 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 baby. Yeah. Let me do it again. Baby, baby, baby. Because the way that we do the background vocals is both Clyde and I will do all of the parts and then also on each individual part we're gonna do it three times. You wanna hit the riff first? Yeah, let's do the riff. Okay, I'm gonna do like three different vibes for the parts. Let's go. In the end, in the end, in the end. In the end, in the end. In the end, in the end. Alright, so 
this is a really fun part of the process when Johnny and I get a chance to throw a bunch of stuff on the track. Um, no one else is here. Alone. Yeah, no one else is bothering <laughs> us. And we always just kind of hope that people like what we do. A bit of an old school approach. Get a Gonna just bit of play a room it together. Tone. One mic. <laughs> Another fun thing that I get to do on my own is all of the editing of the horns. We triple every part and every octave on every instrument that plays them, so it becomes a bit of an overwhelming task. We're going to line everything up. That's partially edited. So we wanted to put Barry on the bridge, Barry Sachs on the bridge, but I'm literally so lazy that I didn't want to go upstairs to get my Barry. So I just played this part on the tenor saxophone, which is a little bit higher, but I found this cool series of plugins. This is actually a tenor saxophone sounding like Barry. <laughs> I'm like, your experience, I wish Lawrence was here to see right. the, the so uncovering of like, she's like, this whole time I'm looking at you like, casualty, casualty, casualty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh there we go, <laughs> we got another one. <laughs>